24-year-old Chandra Jones was out celebrating a birthday with friends in 2021 when she was shot and killed in a case of mistaken identity. And Steve, prosecutors are now charging her accused killers, alleged members of a violent gang. Well, the police commissioner here at headquarters had a bunch of detectives, a big team working for the past few years. And what he told us today was that they have 50 homicides and 200 shootings an average year just in this little radius of about four and a half miles in a section of Strawberry Mansion. And what we learned today was it was the gangs that are chiefly responsible for a majority of that violence. The assistant district attorney, Joe Lenardi, working on it said, quote, it wasn't just cash and cars this violent street gang killed people for. Above all, they sought the notoriety. They wanted the reputation for being violent and dangerous. It was so senseless. It was senseless. Chandra Jones was shot and killed in the new car she had just proudly bought for herself just the week before while working two jobs in September 2021. Philadelphia's homicide chief said one of the two killers fired an AK-47 at her as long as his leg. Chandra's aunt, who raised her since she was nine, said the murder made no sense at the time. And Friday, the district attorney's office called to tell her she was right saying the killers targeted the wrong cars at 33rd and Diamond Streets with more than 40 shots for a gang contract murder and that they shot the wrong people, Chandra and her friends, who were out celebrating a birthday. They told me that um, they captured uh, a gang of young men who were um, paid for hire, basically, and they had the wrong car, so they went after the wrong people and the wrong car. So three young women get shot and my baby gets killed. BNG, B-N-G, which stands for the Big Natty Gang. Chandra was just one of four people, the group of eight men now aged 19 to 25 are charged with killing within a five mile radius in Strawberry Mansion over two years because they kept shooting and killing after Chandra's murder, prosecutors say. It's hard to relive it, but it's also bittersweet to know that they can't do it to nobody else. And the fact that they kept going, and they, was, they kept going, they kept killing people. They didn't stop. They just kept going. It's heinous. BNG members are responsible for four homicide and eight non-fatal shooting victims. When she was killed, Chandra had a three-year-old son. Now, nearly three years later, he has become aware. He knows what happened. Um, he knows his mommy isn't here. I just pray that now he has an answer to why his mommy isn't here. And that's a kindergarten kid that has to have the answer that he got today. And he that can't understand it right now. Look, uh, just in the month after Chandra Jones was killed, two of these eight guys are charged with killing another one of their victims. Just a month later, and that victim was leaving a candlelight vigil for yet another victim of the ongoing violence there. That happened on North 22nd Street. Sheba Jason. The crimes are so heinous, Steve. Answers cannot bring them back, but they at least have some answers tonight. All right, Steve, thank you.